the mystery of Pentecost. Hi, friends. Huh. I wonder what this could be. It sort of looks like a parable, but it's red. So maybe it's, it's like a parable, but it's not a parable. Let's open it and see if there's anything inside that might give us a hint. Something very red, like the box. Any ideas? Let's see. There are more things in the box to tell the story, but nothing else to help us get ready. So I guess all we can do is begin. Once upon a time, there was a great tower. And at first, everyone worked together on the tower and everyone spoke the same language. But as the tower grew taller, the people began to speak in different ways. The tower grew taller and taller and taller, so close, so tall, it almost came close to God. But the people began to forget why they were building the tower. <laughs> they grew proud and began to think they were better builders than God. And each group began to think they were better than every other group. Soon a huge noise replaced their talking. It made no sense. They were babbling. And so that great tower became known as the Tower of Babel. Well, soon enough, that great tower fell and all the languages of the people were shattered and broken. Each one was beautiful, but it was broken. It was just a part. Well, tens and hundreds and thousands of years passed. And Jesus was born. And he lived and he died on the cross. But even after he died, somehow he was still with his friends in the same way that he is still with us. They just kept seeing him. They couldn't let him go. Then one day, something amazing happened. The disciples were all gathered together in the city of Jerusalem. These are the signs for each of the disciples. There's James the Less. And Jude. There was Philip. And there was Simon, who they called the Zealot. There was John.
and there was Thomas. There was Andrew. And there was James, the son of Zebedee. There was Matthew. And there was Bartholomew. And there was Simon Peter. There were only 11 because Judas had already died. Well, Jesus appeared and led them out of Jerusalem to a mount, a mountain called Olivet, which was near Bethany. And the disciples gathered around Jesus, wondering what he was going to show them. And then, as he stood among them, Jesus went up, 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 and disappeared from their sight. Soon, the Holy Spirit would come down. Well, the eleven went back into Jerusalem. They were filled with joy. They went to the temple to pray, and then they gathered together in the upper room. They were so excited. And then, with God's help, they chose Matthias. To replace Judas. Now they were 12. On Sunday, the 12 were all together again in the upper room, when suddenly, a wind, a loud, rushing wind, among them. It was the Holy Spirit. They were so full of power that it felt like they were on fire. Their tongues were burning in their mouths. They were so excited that people wondered what had happened. And when they went out into the streets, there were people from all of the different countries of the world, and they spoke many languages, and all the people could tell that these friends of Jesus had come close to God, and God had come close to them in some new way. They were shining bright with the light of God's Spirit. And somehow it didn't matter that they all spoke different languages. And then the disciples went out to all the corners of the earth to share the good news and to tell the story. They were shining bright with good news. They were shining bright with God's spirit. They went to all the ends of the earth, shining bright with the power of God's peace and God's love. And to this very day, the church celebrates Pentecost to remember this story. Now, I wonder, what part of this story you liked the best.
I wonder what the most important part might be. I wonder where you are in this story or what part of this story is about you. I wonder if you have ever come close to something like this. I wonder if there's anything in our church that reminds you of this. I wonder what story from your own life you might be ready to tell.